Hey guys, you may have noticed lately that not a lot of new statues are arriving, which is kind of crazy because as you know, I have an extreme amount on order. And I'm sure they're all gonna hit at once, but I thought one thing that would be cool today is to do a video on what my favorite videos that have been on the Extreme channel are. Not only the ones that were the funnest to make, but the ones that I think are the most fun to watch. And ironically, most of them aren't necessarily directly about a specific statue. Because let's face it, when it comes to specific statue videos, there's plenty of channels you can go out and see those. And sometimes, even when I buy statues, a ton of other channels actually get it first to review even though they didn't buy it. Yeah, I'm not bitter at all about that. As the Extreme channel is pushing towards 50,000 subscribers, these are just a few of the statues we are giving away on the journey there. If you want to know how to win one, stay tuned for later in the video. Hey guys, thanks for tuning in. As I said in the intro, today we are actually looking at different videos that I've done here on the Extreme channel that I really love. Either I love making them or I love the end product, and most of the time it's actually both. So if you're newer to the channel or even if you've been here for a long time, there are hundreds and hundreds, I think I'm near 600 different videos. And some of these I made a couple years ago, some are more recent. But if you're looking at, hey, I just wanna be entertained, we all know a lot of crazy stuff is going on with the country, you may be stuck at home for a while and maybe just wanna laugh for some entertainment, so in my opinion, these are the top 10 videos on the Extreme channel that you should definitely check out. Now in traditional Extreme fashion, we're gonna look at some honorable mention first. Before we do that, I want everyone to know that I haven't given up on the coldest water bottle, I just don't have it with me today, so that's why I'm not whoring it out. However, if you wanna know what that's about, check out the link in the description below. Now, some of the honorable mentions. First, I used to do a segment called Extreme Topics. And I had a co-host named Dick Ryder, or Richard Ryder, as you will. And the reason I don't make these videos anymore is, first of all, some horrible accident happened to Richard. You can actually go check out those videos. Second of all, they were extremely hard to make, and they weren't really well received other than by a small group. So the effort really wasn't worth the return on investment. And as a businessman, that's always one of my top priorities. And while it was fun to make, it was very painstaking and it took hours and hours and hours because getting Dick to do what you want is very difficult. That's what she said. <laughs> Another one that I really love, just an honorable mention, is one Thanksgiving, I kind of put this out there. This was kind of the first time the audience kind of saw the real Mr. X and how I am in real life. And it's just kind of an inspirational message. I highly recommend you go check it out. There's some giveaway stuff we talk about. Obviously, that's not valid. There is a current giveaway going on, as you know. And along with that, another honorable mention was a Christmas message I did one year. So go ahead and check this one out right here. All of these, I will actually have the links in the description below, but just kind of a good, cool time. And if you ever watch a lot of my videos and you think, God, this guy's a dick, I am. But go ahead and check this out. It might change your opinion a little bit. But with that, let's kick it off with number 10. And number 10 actually had three different videos that I'm kind of combining in one. But for the longest time, I'd actually give haters their 15 seconds of fame, and they don't even deserve that. That's why I don't do these videos anymore, but some of them are absolutely hilarious. So you can check out me actually responding to hater comments, and it's just kind of one of the things of being on YouTube and being in a little bit of a spotlight. You'll always have those people. And as you see in most of those videos, most of them actually show how stupid they are by their own comments. Number nine was kind of an impromptu one. It was one I had a little bit too much to drink, but during COVID, when COVID first started, I wanted some steak really bad and we couldn't find any. So me and Mrs. X made kind of a, a tale of going on a steak quest, trying to find steak everywhere we could. I don't want to spoil any more of it for you because if you haven't seen it, it's definitely worth the check out and definitely a laugh. Another video, this one wasn't received too well, so a lot of people didn't watch it, but I encourage you to go look is, Movies my wife has watched, but she has no idea what they are. So she can't explain the plot, she doesn't know the characters, yet some of these we've watched multiple times. So it was just kind of hilarious, our interaction together. A lot of people, these are our favorite videos of Mrs. X and me kind of interacting about different things. This was definitely very fun to make and an awesome one to watch. Another one was Be Careful When Buying Statues. This was a short five minute skit. A very good virtual friend of mine, Michelle, sold me some statues and she volunteered to help with this, so I really appreciate that. But this was definitely one of the funnest videos to watch. And if you're only 30 years old or younger, it might not be as funny, but if you're, you're older than that, kind of my age range or older, then you can definitely relate where this comes from. Now, Mrs. X has reviewed quite a few statues, but my favorite one was this Alice in Wonderland right here. We just worked really well together and it was hilarious on so many different levels. If you haven't watched any of the videos where she reviews the statue, this is definitely a great one to start. They're all great, but this was definitely my favorite, the Alice in Wonderland from Sideshow Collectibles. This one is the game show I did with my family. You can see a trend here, because honestly, as many statues as I have and as big of a part of my life they are, my family is what's really important to me. 
Uh, my wife is fantastic. My kids are even more fantastic most of the time. So this is, we did a game show where they actually had to fight for the right to keep the room so I didn't take it over for a statue display space. A great video to watch. Go ahead and check that out. So number four also involves Mrs. X, and it's actually two videos I'm putting together. One, one is one where she, the thing she hates about statue collecting. The other one is actually about the statue she hates the most. They are hilarious, just her responses. You can tell that they're genuine. And despite how much she hates this hobby, she actually still loves me, which makes me a very lucky guy. But go ahead and check out those videos. If you haven't, they trended very, very well. So number three was one I kind of stole from a comedian. Uh, if you've ever heard, here's your sign. This is what it was. It was, you may be a statue addict if. And once again, there's actually two of them. One where I came up with my own, and then you guys commented and made like 500 great new ones. So I put those in another video. You can check both of those out. Again, the link for all these is in the description of the video. So go ahead and check out number three, You May Be a Statue Addict If. Number two is actually a video I did when YouTube came to some new terms. About 18, 24 months ago, YouTube actually decided that, hey, anything with child-related content is going to be censored and banned. Well, the problem with channels like mine is there's stuff that involves like Marvel and DC and technically that could be child related. So I made some predictions in this video and had a lot of fun making it. It was about uh, what's going to happen with COPPA, which is the child something protection private actor. I don't remember because it was so long ago, but go ahead and check out this video. It was really fun to make and it's still entertaining and it's interesting to see if my prediction was right. It was. Now, number one, I have to put as a disclaimer. Number one is a video where I actually asked for your money. That's not why I want you to watch it. Either you've given me some money now or you won't, which is fantastic. You watching the channel is enough. But this was by far the funnest video to make, the most exciting video to make. And in my opinion, even if you don't care about becoming a member of the Extreme channel, that's what it's about. It's hilarious to watch. So definitely my favorite video I've made on the channel is this one right here, Give Me Your Money. There's just some hilarious moments in it, so go ahead and check that. So now the best part of the video, uh, I wanna know what's your favorite video that I've done. Is it a statue video? Notice there was no specific statue reviews other than the one Mrs. X did, because like I said, while statue collecting is a big part of my life, my, my big part of my life is with my family and just being entertaining and interacting with you guys. So comment below what your favorite one was because it might enter you into the contest. To win one of these statues, all you have to do is make sure you've liked this video, you've subscribed to the channel, you've hit that bell notification, and then just drop a comment below. Every 5,000 subscriber milestone, we are going to do a random drawing and pick a random comment and give one of these statues away, plus some additional ones I'm not showing right now. The more videos you comment on, the higher your chances are to win. Again, big thanks to you guys. Lots of cool stuff coming, so make sure you subscribe to the, I said subscribe, subscribe to the channel. Hit that picture of me, and you can punch it, just punch it. And drop me a like on your way out. It really helps the channel. I don't know why I kept doing this all the time.